Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sveg in Sweden. So I took the last week off a uh, little bit of work but also I reworked the AIW file for this track as I stated in my last video. So we're going to do a mixed class race here today. I'm going to have a crack in the new McLaren Senna GTR. Uh, 25 minute race, run a qualified place third. Uh, hopefully you'll see throughout this race that the cars are now competitive. Uh, they take certain corners really well now, uh, whereas they didn't before. Uh, let's get this underway. I really like Sveg. Um, has that real late 70s, early 80s F1 uh, track feel. And we're off and racing. Um, a couple of the, uh, because of my player.json file, some of the AI had... Uh, a little bit of a hiccup during the race, so I've got them set to make mistakes, and a couple of the McLarens made a couple of uh, errors on the corners and end up um, coming off track, so they're all the way back through the pack. Hopefully through the race we'll see them make their way forward, uh, and you'll also see that these cars are really competitive now, and they have a crack at each other as well. So the Sveg track is a conversion from Assetto Corsa. It's not a real uh, circuit. It's a fantasy circuit based on a real location in Sweden. Oh, and I've completely messed that up. Giving that LMP2 a chance to catch up. So these, these um, McLarens around here are about four seconds quicker a lap around the eight kilometers is Sveg. So uh, pretty quick cars. I've, I've seen a few comments around the place that they the brakes are a little bit um, undercooked, but I found through setting the uh, brake bias correctly on these, um, making sure the brakes stay hot, that after the first lap or so, as I do my patent in shift, they brake really, really well, considering how fast you are coming up to some of these corners. So this was uh, this complex that's coming up now was a real problem in the previous version of the AW file cars wouldn't take this corner well and they certainly wouldn't take this corner well at all so now they kind of just tap their brakes on the way through hit the apex and keep going and here as well they'll kind of trail break into this corner and then power out properly I've set them up to do a late apex here oh wow and that other center has caught up already so it's right next to me So we've got these cars set to 114 um, skill and uh, the, rec the, the normal settings that I have, so you know, like 66 for aggression and 40 for modifier. Um, if I set these guys 115, 116, I can't compete with them. So hopefully we'll, we'll come up to some back markers here. You'll see how well they navigate each other, hopefully. Mess that up as well. And you'll see that you can actually have some fun racing here, whether it's mixed class or not now. Because I really do like the layout of Sveg, even though it's a fantasy track, don't let that put you off. It's got a fantastic feel to it, as I said, it's, it's, it's a real kind of 1970s, late 70s, early 80s F1 feel. You know, it's, it's lots of cement, lots of race ending, uh, <laughs> concrete everywhere. And the other thing about it is too, it's not as wide a track as it, it seems, so passing here is actually quite difficult. So you can have some quite challenging races here. I'll put a link up to the RW as well. So we've got this race starting at 7.30 in the morning. I feel that the lighting here is really good at around that time. We have an idea of how quick this car is, we're now Right now, before we can hit the bridge, we are doing more than the uh, GTEs can do coming up right up to entry to this corner here. Oh, and old mate's made a pass. Um, I'm not gonna, probably not going to do too much commentary on the, on, the, uh, on the center. I think it's a fantastic car. There's been a huge amount of videos about it already. I don't agree with people when they say that the brakes are undercooked or a little bit soft. I think you have to consider the speeds that you're doing in this car. You know, you're only slightly slower than a, a, an LMP1 car. You're a heck of a lot quicker than an LMP2 car. Um, it's based on a road car, although it's an absolutely insane one. 
and the speeds that you're doing into corners are absolutely um, mental. So I think the brakes do actually perform quite well. Especially if they have the balance right. You can also trail brake into the corners really well and um, the car responds really well to throttle on exit. Uh, it does present a little bit of understeer in the wrong uh, kind of conditions on entry. But you can really power out of a corner and you can really get the car to rotate. A few little tweaks um, and you can really get the car performing well. I dropped this on its guts basically for this track I found on Z1 dashboard that uh, an analyzer that I wasn't bottoming out here at all. Um, and I up the, uh, the spring rates as well just to make it a little bit stiffer. Change the balance of the oh, a bit of rubbing there. Trying to cook that, then trying to hold that. Super close there. So I've adjusted the, I adjusted the balance of the car, basically made it 50-50 for this track and I adjusted the brake balance as well, um, forward to, what is it now, 45.5 we'll leave it at, oh, and I've been out road train there, lost the position, there's no way that that would have happened um, with the previous ARW, so to give you an idea, previously I could, oh, tapped in, sorry mate, messed up your multi-million dollar car there. Um, I could crank the cars all the way up to 120, 125% and easily beat them. So they're on 114 now, um, providing a little bit of a challenge. If you put them up to 115, 116, I, I wouldn't have a chance of coming first at all. As you can see with my Pilot Jason files, they're actually having a crack at each other as well. Hopefully we'll hit some back markers as we make this pretty interesting, see how they, uh, they handle it. There from me. So I'm officially coming last in class, right? <laughs> right, let's start uh, concentrating. I think. I love the sound of the car. Uh, maybe not so much internally, but externally in a replay, this thing sounds insane. Yes, I have. Oh, man. Oof. Fair bit of wobble now. You can feel it. No actual body damage there. But I have locked that up big time. Okay, let's see if we can catch up. I think we're looking at about 11 laps worth in... 25 minutes, hopefully that's enough for me to claw some back. I'm not sure how I'm going to do maybe this, uh, this flat spot, I can really feel it. A little bit of free space though, I've managed to make some time up already. Let's see what we actually hit here on this straight. 
wants to rotate on you. McLaren won't try. Again, these guys, the studio, have really, really delivered on this car. Um, maybe not so much on the on the Aston Martin. Oh, I had another one in it the other day. It wasn't. I think it was just that first day um, kind of excitement to get a, a GTE Aston Martin. Um, and then I drove this, and, and the level of feedback in this car is uh, is is right up there. Um, a lot more so than, than what you get in the Aston. I think this car is a bit more polished as well. Don't know how I'm going to get past these guys. <laughs> Having a crack everywhere. Might be an opportunity here if we can get alongside him. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. So, did we make it? Yes, we did. Okay, up to third, I think. Yep, third. 300, oh, look at that draft. I'll make that a look. Oh, big lock up. That flat spot's making it worse and worse. I'm really hoping that we get to see some back markers. Maybe if I made this race a little bit longer. I just wasn't sure that anybody would really watch anything longer than a, a 25 minute race um, here. And plus, I really wanted to get this out. It's been um, it's been a little while since I put up a video. It takes quite a bit of time to create a new AIW file, especially one that I'm, I'm happy with. Um, I wanted to get this out so people could use it and see that I've been doing something. I'd like to move on to uh, Brands Hatch next um, and then people can get to use that as well. Probably the last one I'll do for a while. I'd like to get back into doing some, just some normal videos. Unless people, or if anyone's got a specific track they'd like me to have a crack at creating a new AW file for. Is there no crack on the outside? Wow. Lost that then. Oh, he's right there. Didn't even realise. <laughs> he's going <gotten> to dive. <laughs> There's no way that would have happened in the last, the last version. I'm a lot happier with this than the way I thought this race would go. I'm interested to see if the uh, AI's tyres actually do start going off. Oh, oh mate, made a mistake then. Big time. Is he going to get through before? No, no way, before the bridge. Is this going to set me up though for a pass? Second, tons of smoke pouring out my tires as I break into that corner. Oh wow! I find that corner there probably the most difficult on this circuit. Oh wow! I'll make a mistake again. See what my tyres are doing. I think tyre damage um, or the tyre model kind of shows up a lot more on this car than some of the previous cars that have been out or been released. 
I'm actually getting a lot more um, tire feedback than I've, I've noticed in uh, some of the recent cars as well here. Sure what that yellow flag's for. Tires are really, really wearing at the front already. And the right's getting very hot there. I can feel that that's where the flat spot is. Ten minutes left. Very interesting to see what the studio has got to show at Sim Expo. Um, I'm sure we'll we'll see uh, Launch Lifer. Um, be very interested to see what they've done on the UI and competition space. Um, I'm hoping that there aren't excuses uh, around the fixes that they've been working on, and that's held stuff up. A lot of the things they've been talking about leading up to the fixes should have been in the works for a long time. So hopefully we get to see that stuff and hopefully we get some dates announced. Um, having said that though, I do really, really appreciate the work that the, the team has done on the fixes. Obviously some of them were quite some time coming uh, or should have been worked on in the past. I have noticed though, since the last two patches, the 1.114 and the 1.115, seen a return of uh, the notorious RF2 lockup which I hadn't seen for quite some time. I'm not sure it's because I've been practicing with you know 30 plus cars around here. Oh wow. Oh I really let myself down there. Front right is now yellow. second back at least, come on. Opportunity, come on. We get past it, it's gone to block. I'm really going off the road then. Big lock up for me. Feel the wheel now. That front right's causing a lot of understeer into left corners. And well, I'm truly past what the GTEs can do before you even hit that bridge. Just gives you an idea of how quick this car really is accelerating out of corners. couple of sections I really struggle with on this circuit. It's that corner there that we just went through and, uh, and this corner coming up right now. And we've hit back markers. This should be interesting. So let's see what this guy does. And he's gone the pass straight away. Wow, just powered past. Let's see if I can get the Aston. I can. favorite GTE there. Can I get it? <laughs> Not sure that was legal. Hopefully he gets past, doesn't make a mistake. I want to win. But so I don't want to win that way with him having it off. Let's 
So if anyone wants to have a crack, I've done a 215-ish around here. I think there's like high 215s in the center. Oh, well played. So 30 cars on the grid. Seems to be handling it okay, plus me recording. Maybe a couple of little slowdowns and pops, but performance seems to be pretty good. I'd like to look at getting a, uh, a 5700 XT, hopefully the uh, power color version. I'd like to maybe put up some benchmarks comparing it to this, which is my 1070. Right, I've got you, mate. I got you. Oh. oh, he's made a mistake. He's made a mistake. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry, mate. It's pulling a BMW there. down to the wire now I think oh. Oof. Been a couple of close calls through this race so back up to second I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch this guy now At least to make a pass anyway. It's quite difficult around here. Try to use all the track there. Make it as late as possible for this left hander. Okay. Can we get him? Man, that's been some close calls. I'm not going to let you through the bridge. We just got to draft me. Come on. Oh, his tyres are gone. Apex, come on. That was horrible. Got to give him an opportunity then. We have a minute 43 left. Let's see how we go. Feel the car rotate then, just under power. Pulled itself through the corner. Squeeze past the giant BMW. Power of this car now. If we squeeze through here, make it standing still. The 
this will be the last lap, I think. Okay, we haven't got any Corvette. That's an LMP3 up there. Let's see if we can catch him. Yep. <laughs> it's late apex, there we go. That's much better. Finally got it right. <laughs> it only took me eleven laps to do it. And messed up that corner. Awesome skill. McLaren behind me. Wow, really slacking off. Well, and across the line. Well, we did it first. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you can see that the AIW is better here now, and you can actually have a true multi-class race here, uh, and enjoy it. Hit the back markers, get through them, get some racing room, uh, and have some pretty good battles with the AI now. So, uh, as always, I will post a link to the track, a link to the AIW, uh, and my player.json file settings if you're interested. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.